افمن اسسا بنیانہ علا تقوی من اللہ و رضوان خیر امن اسسا بنیانہ علا شفا جرف انہار فنہار بہی فی نار جہنم سو نو وچ ون از بیٹر بیدر دیٹ ہو ہیز فاؤنڈیڈ ہز بلڈنگ آن تقوا من اللہ و رضوان تقوا آف اللہ اینڈ پلیجر آف اللہ دیز آر دی فاؤنڈیشنس آن وچ سم بڈی ہیز فاؤنڈیڈ ہز بلڈنگ از اٹ بیٹر امن اسسا بنیان ہو اللہ شفا جو رفین ہار ان اور دی ون ہو ہیز فاؤنڈیڈ ہز بلڈنگ آن دی برنک آف اے کرملنگ بینک فنہارا فی بہی فنار جہنما سو دیٹ اٹ کرمبلز ود ہم ان ٹو دی فائر آف ہیل و اللہ اللہ عہد القوم الظالمین اینڈ اللہ ڈزنٹ میک دیز پیپل ٹرانسگریسر سکسیزفل ڈونٹ ٹیک دیم ٹو دیئر ڈیسٹینیشن لا یزال بنیان ہم الذی بناؤ ریبتا فی قلوبہم الا ان تقطع قلوبہم و اللہ علیم الحکیم دی بلڈنگ ویچ دی ہیو میڈ will never cease to be a cause of doubt within their hearts unless their hearts are cut into pieces. You know, the fog, just like cancer, so long as the cancer is, you know, limited to one tissue, one part, you can operate. But if it has, you know, spread to whole of the body, Which part of body to be operated? Tan hama daag daag shud bamba kuja kuja na. You can't operate now. In the same way, their nifaq has permeated all parts of their heart. Now, if you want to make an operation, you will have to cut the heart into pieces. You know, tear it away. Then only you will be able to take out the roots of nifaq from their hearts. Illa taqatta qulubuhum. Wallahu alim al hakim. And Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. Now, one of the most important ayat of the Quran for all times to come. The essence of deen. Essence of deen. Essence of deen. Inna Allah ashtara min al-mu'mineen anfusam wa amwa lahum bianna lahum al-jannah. Verily, Allah has purchased, already purchased from the believers, their lives as well as their belongings. In exchange of Jannah. This is the essence of Iman. If you are a true believer, you have sold out yourself. Now whatever you have is just a trust with you. You have to give it, present it whenever you are required. But who will require? That is the, that is the decisive question. Here in this ayah you will find the word of ba'ah. Ba'ah. And from ba'ah it comes to ba'ah. You sold yourself to Allah. And you pledge yourself to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Actually the selling and purchasing is between Allah and Mu'min. Allah has got the price to pay. Jannah is with him. But you know, in between is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will tell you where to spend. He will tell you where to go and risk your life. But you can't refuse now. Because you had already sold yourself. In the la hashtara min al-mu'minin anfusam wa amwalahu bayanna lahum al-jannah. Yuqatilu na fi sabi'illah. It's on the basis of this sale and purchase agreement that they are, the mu'mins, they are fighting in the cause of Allah. فَيَقْتُلُونَ وَيُقْتَلُونَ They are slaying the kuffar and they are being slain also. Their bodies are also not made of steel that they cannot have any injury. Even if you know the body of Hamza رضي الله تعالى عنه it could be pierced through a spear. There can be no other exception. وَعَدًا عَلَيْهِ حَقًّا Very important. This is a promise binding on him. Allah is saying it is binding on me. And I have ratified it thrice. وَعَدًا عَلَيْهِ حَقًّا فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنجِيلِ وَالْقُرَانِ I have thrice ratified this sale. I have given this in Torah, then again in Injil, and now for the third time 
in Quran. Maman of Abi Ahdehi min Allah, and who can be more true to his promise than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Fastab Shirube Bari Kumulazi Bayatum. So now rejoice. This is the best bargain that, that can be made. No better bargain. So rejoice. First option will be very common as you buy atom on the sale purchase that you have done with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now here you find buy up. Bear and buy up. Baba Mufala. Buy atom be between two, two persons, you know, bear. This is the purchaser. This is the seller and this is mubayah between the two. So the purchaser is Allah, seller is Mumin. And as I told you, there is a third person in between. At that time he was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why we find in the ayah number 10 of Surah Al-Fatih. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُبَايِعُونَكَ إِنَّمَا يُبَايِعُونَ اللَّهِ يَدُ اللَّهِ فَوْقَ اَيْدِيهِمْ Verily, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who are pledging themselves to you, they are pledging to Allah. So it's a tripartite agreement. Yadullahi faqayadihim. When there was going to be a bayah, two hands. Hand of Muhammad here. Hand of the Mubayeh, who is doing the, who is pledging over him. There is a third hand, invisible. Yadullahi faqayadihim. There is the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over their hands. So it's a tripartite agreement. Now after him, who? I told you, there's no system of organization as far as I have understood up till this time, this hour, mentioned in the Quran or the Sunnah or the Hadith or the whole history of the Muslim Ummah except there. Somebody stands up, I want to do this work. You test him, go see to him. Whether he really means business, whether he is sincere, whether he knows or is only an emotional type of person. He knows the things, he is knowledgeable, he knows the path. As if, uh, uh, whether he is clear about methodology or not, which way he will take. You satisfy yourself, but then you pledge yourself. The only difference of pledging between the pledge given to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the pledge to be given to any other person after him, the only difference is that was absolute obedience. Whatever you say, we shall obey. Because Muhammad couldn't say anything wrong. After him, even Abu Bakr couldn't demand that type of pledge. What to speak of any other person? Within the limits of the Sharia, fil ma'roof. That is why in Tanzim Islami we had adopted that very hadith. Bayana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala sam'i wa ta'ati fil usri wal yusri wal manshati wal makrahi a muttafaqun alayhi hadith. Both in the Sahih of Bukhari or Sahih of Muslim rahimahullah. But we have added one word. In the Ubayyuk ala sam'i wa ta'ati fil ma'roof. Within the limits of the Sharia, I pledge myself. Whatever command you will give, I'll accept. I'll give my advice, I'll give my opinion. But you know, the decision will rest with you. This is the basis of bayah. And now you know, if there is some sale and purchase between Allah and the person, how he will spend it? Where to spend? Either he's an individual, or if there is a collective struggle and nothing can be done, you know, without a collective struggle, what should be the basis of that? That organization, that is very particular and very pertinent question. So these things are to be pondered upon seriously. Inna Allah ashtara min al-mu'mineen anfusam wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al-jannah yuqatiluna fi sabilillahi fa yaqtuluna wa yuqtalun wa'adan alayhi haqqan fi al-tawrat wa l-injil wa al-Quran wa man awfa bi ahdihi min Allah fastabshiru bi ba'ikum al-lazhi ba'yatum bi wa zalika huwa al-fadhu al-azim and this is actually the biggest success. Rejoice, you have made the most profitable bargain. Now what is the qualities of those people who enter into this bargain? Glimpses of their character. Nine words, nine attributes, nine qualities. 
Abidun, worshipping Allah, obeying Allah, loving Allah from the depths of their hearts. Hamidun, praising Him all the time. With every action there is a dua, masnoon dua, praising Him. Alhamdulillah illazi. Ahyani baadama matani. When you just rise, you open your eyes in the morning. Alhamdulillah illazi. Ahyani baadama matani. When you come out from the toilet. Alhamdulillah illazi. Azhaba anni al-aza wa afani. When you have taken food, Alhamdulillah illazi at'amani wa saqani. So hamd, going on, going on. Hamidu as-sayhoon. What is sayhoon? Siyaha in the olden days was rahbaniya. People leaving cities and towns and going to woods and you know wilderness and to deserts and to mountain caves. This was siyaha. But in Islam, this has been forbidden. La sayahat of Islam illa saum. The, the, the Prophet said, except saum. Here also you are forbidden from some, you know, some things you are not you know, allowed to eat. You know, you, you can't have your know, sexual urge satisfied. Although you have the, the halal means with you, everything is there, but you know you are forbidden. La sayahat of Islam illa saum. Therefore, it is translated everywhere who you keep on fasting. But there's no, you know, literal connection between the two. Arakeroon, keep on going. Wasajidun, prostrating before Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Alamiroon abil maaruf. Now, from the personal qualities to the collective qualities. Amr bil maaruf. This is for the society. Enjoining whatever is correct and just and right. Forbidding from whatever is wrong and unjust. And those who keep Allah's bounds, who protect Allah's bounds. And this has two meanings. You observe the limits of Allah. And you stand guards at those limits. I won't allow you to transgress. So actually they become ten, although they are ten. They are nine in, in words. Attaibunal, Abidunal, Hamiduna, Saihuna, Rakiruna, Sajidun. Alamiruna bil maru, vanahuna al munkal, wa half is una lihududillah. But this half is una lihududillah is two aspects. Keep yourself limited, don't transgress. But you stand guards to the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And O oh, Messenger of Allah, give the glad tidings to such moments. May Allah include us. May Allah give us the courage to make this bargain with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consciously.